Let's talk about how you can organize your toolbox. Step one is to buy a component box. Make sure that it's compact and sturdy, that it has at least 10 or more compartments, and you want to check the latch to make sure it won't break open in your backpack. Step two is select an option for your resistors. We're going to talk about two. So we have option A, the multiplier method, and option B, the sig dig system. And we'll go into detail about each of these. Let's first review the resistor color coding system. On a four band resistor, the first two are significant digits. The third is the multiplier, and the fourth is the tolerance. If we choose option A, the multiplier method, we will collect resistors based on the colors of their third band. So we'll collect all the reds together and put them in a bin labeled 10 to the power of 2. We'll collect all the oranges together and put them in a bin labeled 10 to the power of 3, and so on. If you choose the multiplier method, you might want to have bins for gold, black, brown, red, orange, yellow, and green. If we decide to go with option B, the sig dig system, we're going to collect resistors based on the colors of their first and second bands. So we'll collect brown and blacks together and put them in a bin labeled 1, 0. We will collect yellow violet together and put them in a bin labeled 4, 7. And we want to make sure that we have enough bins to cover the common 5% resistors, some of which are shown here. Let's take a look inside one of these sample compartment boxes. So here's our box. It has 12 to 15 compartments. And inside we've labeled each bin with the different types of components that we're going to place there. We could just have the components loose in each bin, or we can stick the resistors in little bits of foam and drop the foam into each bin for easy removal.